All right, guys, and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. And we are about to hop straight back into Big Top. And we are about to, yes, talk to this clown. Oh, my God. I don't want to talk to this clown because he looks too ridiculous. I already hate him from the clothes he has. He has a carrot dangling from the mouth of a clown hat. That, let's just talk to Mo, all right? Could you please tell us more about Barry Big Circus? And the hits just keep on coming. Uh, this circuit has been in business for 20 years. Interesting. 20 years. Never easier to work in a circus with movies, TV, and bowling. Too much competition. I think it's a lot. It's probably more funny to go do stuff with bowl. I, I I probably would prefer bowling rather than a circus. But it, I think I've been to the circus like one time in my life. I don't remember it, but I was a super young kid at the time, and I don't remember. I don't remember having fun, nor do I remember ever going to a circus. But I think I did go to a circus. I love it too, that is why I've been here for 20 years. We work hard to keep the show running. No one sends in the clowns on us. Nick, he just made a joke laugh. That shit wasn't even funny. Why would I laugh? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Alright. Is that good for you, Maya? That was the biggest, fakest laugh ever, but she made us force this laugh. But anyway, the ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world. A real class act. Mo, wiggity 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 what? Oh my god. Really? I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Fuck you. Let's talk about the murder. Let's see. It must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out, so I came back here. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Ooh. Information finally? That is a siren you hear in the background. Again, second time today you're probably hearing a siren. If you've been watching like the recent videos of Justice for All, this is the second siren, dude. This is what Detective Gumshoe was talking about. Mo was the eyewitness to the crime. Russell Berry. The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements? You've been a performer for a long time. You act, your act starts getting a bit stale. Hmm. I realize that even my act can get a bit long in a tooth. Sometimes my jokes can be a bit um old-fashioned, a bit long in a tooth. But that make believe it takes things too far. Make believe it. The magician, the one that thinks he's all high and mighty. He had the gal to say to me, "You're one of those funny types, right?" What does he mean, one of those... Well, the joke's on him now. What? On him? He got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder? Go ahead. Nope, no way. Just because I said anything. I bet he's still hiding something about Max. He probably is. You said you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story. Don't say a word! I'm just gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. Oh my god, that's not fair. No. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details. But only if you can get old stu stiff lips here to make with the funny stiff lips. Wait, do you mean me? Nick, you can do it. <clears throat> What's the matter? Just getting ready, okay? Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time. Ah! 
I get it. You get it, Titus? You get it? Yeah, I, I, I think Titus got it too. <laughs> Even Mo is like, are you kidding me? At least his expectations are low. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Jeez, could have got some slack. At least it was funny and then chuckles over here. <laughs> it wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry, he's incapable of being funny, Mo. Hey, Phoenix Wright stole that joke from me, dude. I was saying that since the first game. He stole my joke that night. Once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of my bed. That's when I saw... Without question, without a doubt, it was that magician with my new voice. That's all I saw, but it just proves how terrible that man actually is. He knows more about Max than he is letting on. Alright, can we show him something? The top hat. It's the uppity fake is uppity top hat. <laughs> they found this at the scene of the crime, didn't they? That's why I've been that's what I've been told. Unbelievable! That jerk killed the ringmaster. It really is a shame what happened to the ringmaster, huh, Mo? It seems that the ringmaster was truly a great man. Let's examine that, uh... This is one thing I want to examine really quick. I don't want to present. I want to examine the top right. There's a hole in the ceiling. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Hole in the ceiling. Well, um, I was riding a pogo stick, and I guess I just overdid it. Overdid it a little. What can I say? Sometimes get some things get a bit crazy in one's college days. Well, he's been in here since his college days, huh? Oh, was that supposed to be in the window, for, or was that supposed to be maybe making a little hint at what? He, I don't even want to go there. You know, what? screw it, screw it, screw it. We're not gonna go there. Can we present him with a profile, maybe? That's the ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the circus performance. Cuter than a little puppy mouth, mouth has that, Regina. If only my Lorena was that cute. Lorena? Lorena? Ah, Lorena is my daughter. She lives with her mother now. It's true what they say about the tears of a clown. Damn. Hmm. If he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he should die too. Oh, it's just, just just not just Mo sorry I crossed the line but he truly is a disgusting human being why do you hate him so much let me tell you this one story the morning before the murder something terrible happened Max clunk Ben right over the head as hard as he could Ben the ventrilo uh, ventriloquist with the speech impediment you should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourself. So we gotta go to the cafeteria. What is that at? The cafeteria? Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting there. <laughs> that wasn't even funny. Ah, oh, yes. The very big circus is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Thank you. Um, this is an atlas. Ah, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I killed myself, really. I'm dying here. Oh, corny. Corny. What? Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Looks like we got something out of it. What if I show him Von Karma's face? This isn't very funny. How am I supposed to know about people who are in the circus? Alright, we gotta go to the cafeteria, they said. Go to the cafeteria, he said. Eat the tacos they served there, they said. <laughs> um, where's the cat? Big top, maybe? Maybe we gotta go here? Don't wanna look at your sparkling, gleaming self. Yeah, here we go. December 28, Big Top Cafeteria. Ew, this place is gross. 
This must be because of this, uh, because of last night. They didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me, what was it that Mo said? He said that yesterday morning, Max clonked Ben over the head there. He also said there's gotta be something interesting. What's gotta be interesting? Oh my god. Don't ask. He was making a joke, referencing God to beat. Got to beat. Got to beat. What is this? The kitchen is over here. Everyone must have taken turns cooking. There's a duty list posted here. I wouldn't mind try my hand at cooking for this many people. Might as kill a hamburger. You should try it. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Phoenix Wright? There are dirty dishes all over the place. It must have been too hectic last night to clean up. You know I can't stand a mess, Nick. I think you and I should clean this place up right now. Why do we have to clean up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one bear is repeating. What? But this is a crime scene. We can't clean it up. We have to preserve it for evidence. Ah! You know I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as much as I hate dirt cleaning dirty cafeterias. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> da, 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 da. Just been knocked over. That's what it looks like. It almost looks as if someone knocked it over in a struggle or used it for self defense. Or maybe a regent just likes to eat his dinner in the cafeteria. Hmm. Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside. Once we're finished with the case. Alright, then let's get this over with, Nick. Here we go. Whoa! Where's the mute button when you need it? Wow, Phoenix. It's kind of harsh, bro. What's this? Must be a juice bottle or something. Watch out, Nick. Broken glass on the floor is dangerous. A broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor. Hmm. Do you think it means anything? There's gotta be something interesting there. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to go back and meet with him. Really? So now we need to go all the way back to that guy? That's what he just said. Alright, so let's go all the way back. Go to the big top. We gotta go to the trailer. Um, uh, circus entrance. Um, uh, move. Man, this is a lot of uh, point and clicking. <laughs> hmm. You know what's sad? We don't even get to hear Gumshoe's theme. Now we show him the bottle. What do you think about this? Anything come to mind? Oh, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see. Well, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone's wearing underwear and dancing in the lamb bottom. Mm, I think that's enough advice for now. Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. Did he give us anything new to talk about? What? I don't get it. What am I supposed to do now? Does it still say the same thing if I show him the circus map? Okay, let's just move on. I thought we had to come back here. I'm kind of confused now. Oh boy. Let's talk to Gumshoe. Anything new? Can we talk to anybody here that anything new? They won't say anything. Usually, if it's like something new, it will go, it will show the date and the location again. So let's get out of here. Maybe we gotta go talk to Ben. 
Benjamin Franklin. Nope. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. Big top. Big top. Can we talk to her? No. Anything new? No. What the hell? Who do we talk to? Maybe go back to the headmaster's place? Yeah, screw it. I said the headmaster. I keep saying the headmaster. Ever since freaking uh, Don got a rope, I've been saying headmaster. Oh, uh, maybe we're supposed to go back and talk to Max? Circus entrance. Here we go now. Here we go. Alright, look at this. December 28th, December... Or, oh, detention center visitor's room. I said December twice. Oh, it's my two sweeties. Welcome to the detention center. <sighs> Did he just call me his sweetie? Again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we gathered quite a few clues. Hmm. Wonderfully fantabuloso. I mean, fabulous. That's why we came to meet with you again. What, what, what's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay then, Max, let's make this absolutely fabulous. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, oh, that's right, he had, the, he had the pick locks. He had the side locks. We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. You must mean from the dinosaurs. How were those Jurassic... Jurat... What? Geratrix. Max, you aren't very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie. That's what they call jealousy. G, G, J E A L O U S Y. They're absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. Oh my god. People who really understand. For instance, my sweetie pie. So Regina understands him, huh? <laughs> I plan on getting married to her, so she is truly my sweetie pie princess. Wow, that's so cool. It's already in the works. That's strange. Regina never said anything about marrying this Joker. Huh. <laughs> you met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder? Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. once I was done with practice. Wait, how old is he, by the way? Man, she's like 16, man. What is this nonsense? You can't be marrying 16-year-olds. Well, I guess you can in some areas of the world. So I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Because it's the law. They... <laughs> that can go vice versa, too, so... But anyway, I don't really care. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I hate... Er, I hate about that. I hate about that! I thought I, I was I thought I was about to pronounce it wrong. That's why I had it slowed down for a second. But nope, I had about that. Yeah, I had about that. He needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Huh? What the hell does "head about that" mean? Sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's all right. I'll be right up, right back. It should only take about 10 minutes. Okay. Do we believe Max? I guess we will. And then I waited for him. But he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly. The snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. But I have no idea what he went off to do. I think you do have an idea, man. I think we're gonna bust open them side locks, man. That's all we can do right now. Wait, can we present Francisca to him? Uh huh. This woman, huh? Well, my type of woman is a gentle sweetie. Sounds like you are describing Regina. Well, he's definitely not describing Francisca. <laughs> Let's ask him about Ben. I can't believe an ugly guy. <laughs> And a guy with that ugly mug is after my sweetie pie princess. Especially after she has eluded my charms for such a long time. There isn't much you can do about that, right? Hmm. You haven't even been truly in love, have you? 
Oh, that's probably why he hit him over head, over the head with the bottle. He had uh, the clown had said that, right? The clown said like he bopped someone over the head. He hit Ben, right? That makes sense. When you are truly in love with someone, you'd be jealous of their mirror because it traps their image inside. Aw, don't you think that's sweet of him, Nick? I'm gonna get back with my sweetie pie. Then I'm gonna turn that dumb puppet into a toy glider. Look at that, he hates him. So he's the one who hit him with the... He's the guy that bought Benjamin in the head. I guess you two haven't worked out your differences yet. Because he bought them in the head because Ben also proposed to Regina. Aha! Because we were told earlier that two dudes, two people profess their love to Regina. Yes. I don't even know how I remember that shit. <laughs> I don't even know how I remember that, to be honest. Like, I was dozing off half of the time. I'm showing the broken bottle. What about this? Fabulous. You'd like me to sign this for you? <sighs> what about the circus map? Alright, time to break the lock. He has three locks too, man. Ah. Meeting with Russell. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? Then go to negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary from my six-month-old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? No, no, no. That was like a week before because the contract was already signed, so... What do you mean? You just... You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies and I hate lies even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Show the ringmaster's paper. That's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is a date of a week ago. Um, Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago, bro. Fabulous! <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you. Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie, that's private. Oh, my God. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Uh, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke of. Not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into the room that night? Probably. He probably the broken bottle. Cause you can't be breaking. You can't be breaking people's freaking heads in with broken bottles, man. This isn't the WWE. Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria, but you already knew that, didn't you? <gasps> of course! Okay. It fell and broke in the floor! He's still hiding something else. Okay. Max, what is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You used this bottle to hit Ben on the head. But how do I do that? I just pre I probably just present the profile. Duh. Take that. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? <gasps> and that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. Fabulous! You might as well be a magician. Oh my god. That was probably the easiest Psylocke ever. GG, pal. Hmm. So, everybody, I'm going to take a short break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Phoenix Wright. <laughs>